Hi everyone. Today I'm going to be walking you through your duet and group scenes day number seven assignment. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to share my screen with you just like always so that you can follow along with the lesson exactly as I'm going through it. Um, when you open up your assignment, you're going to see we're continuing to work on TEKS 1F and 2C. TEK 1F, which is um, exploring and evaluating the structure and form of dramatic literature, the dramatic literature being your duet scene, and then TEK 2C, which is creating characters, dialogue, and actions that reflect dramatic structure in scripted scenes individually and collaboratively. So what that means is you're going to be working either on your own or with a partner to um, start creating your characters and start rehearsing your scene. Um, and the first part of that is going to be memorization, which is something we're going to be focusing on today. So as you go on to your assignment, you're going to see we have our typical spaces where we fill in our last name, comma, first name, uh, your theater class period, which should be third, fourth, fifth or seventh period, and then the area where you write down your school email address. And so please don't do those things if you have not done so already. Then when you go on to the next screen, you are going to see um, that we have our stretches, our typical daily stretches that we like to do. Um, we have the, some ideas here. Remember, you can always just stretch in your seat if you want to. Um, I know some of you may be doing this at home on your bed or at your desk or at your kitchen table, and there might not be room for you to do the full stretch that we do in class. So remember, you can always do some arm circles. Let me back up so you can see um, a little bit better. You can also do some seated stretches at your chair, you know, put your foot over your leg, lean forward. This is a nice stretch for your hips and the back of your legs, especially if you've been sitting for a long time. And so you can do that on one or both sides. Actually, both sides would probably be best because you want it to feel even in your body. Great. Um, arm circles, large ones, and small ones, as I was doing before. Um, you can also do like tall stretches, lean back, side. You can do some of these cross arm ones, or even like this. Just do a little bit of stretching for a couple of minutes. Um, and then, like I said, you can also do any of the other ones that I have listed here for you on your slide. So um, I'm gonna check off the ones that we normally do in our class routine. Um, you have this box that says other, that's where you can write in maybe that you did stretches at your seat or something like that. Um, but yeah, these are the ones that we normally do in our class routine as a group. So you can mark those or any other ones that you did. Some facial stretches to do, inhale and exhale. <sighs> Jaw massage, big face and little face. And so remember when you do your jaw massage, you're focusing on this like jawline part of your body, um, but you can also, you know, massage your cheeks. You do have muscles all over your face. And so, you know, giving that little massage just helps to get the blood flowing in those areas, wake you up a little bit. And then your tongue twisters, after you mark your stretches, your tongue twisters, you can choose any of the ones on the screen or you can do your own. Rubber baby buggy bumpers, rubber baby buggy bumpers, rubber baby buggy bumpers. Unique New York, unique New York, you know you need unique New York. Russian wristwatch, Russian wristwatch, Russian wristwatch, right? Just practice saying a few and then type in the names in the box below. And then as you go on to the daily activities page, you're gonna see we're gonna do two things today. The first thing I want you to do is I want you to watch a short video um, about Jim Parsons. Jim Parsons is a very um, famous actor. You might know him from the Big Bang Theory or maybe other, you know, other work that he's done. And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna watch the short video and then you're gonna tell me how does Jim Parsons, that's the name of the actor, how does he memorize his lines? 
By the time you see this form, um, this question will have the blank space as it normally does. I don't know why it has this, sorry. But it will be fixed by the time you're doing this, by the time you're watching this video. Um, and then you'll think back, you're gonna do a little bit of reflection. You're gonna think back on how you tried to memorize your monologue last time. Um, what strategies do you remember that helped you? Or if maybe you didn't really memorize your monologue, um, you might think about when you have to remember something, how do you memorize it? How do you remember it in general? What are some things that help you or what are some things that you do? So you'll answer both reflection questions. And then um, we'll go on to activity two. So for activity two, what you're going to be doing today is you're going to be working on, you guessed it, your memorization. And so what you're going to do is you're gonna check off, you're gonna pick three different strategies to try today. You can pick three um, out of the five that are listed here. And what I want you to do is I want you to work on doing those strategies independently at home. And so you're going to need your script for that. So of course I have it here provided. You'll click it, open it up. Now, which character should you memorize? You should work on memorizing both. Um, especially if you are a virtual learner, you will need to know both sets of lines for what's coming up later. And then those of you that are face-to-face, -face, well, you never know when your partner might or might not be absent. So it's good to know both parts. So everybody should be memorizing parts A and parts B. And so I don't expect you to memorize the whole scene today. Try and get through a few lines, try and memorize a couple of lines of it. You will be able to continue with memorization tomorrow. So, um, whoops, this is the wrong one, there we are. Um, you'll tell me you know how to access the script. And then once you've practiced your three memorization strategies, you'll tell me about what percent memorized do you think you are at this point? Um, after one day of memorization, I would think that you'd be maybe in one of these two categories, but who knows, maybe you're a fast memorizer and that's okay. Um, just mark what feels true for you. Once you're done, you will click submit. And then that's it, you're done for the day. I hope that you found this video helpful. Remember, if you have questions, you can always reach out to me on Google Classroom, Remind 101 Text, um, by emailing me or just by popping in on our live sessions during the day. Well, that's it for today, everybody. Remember, today is a great day. You are in control of you and every day is a great day to try your best. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.